guys, welcome back to my test world here. Got a another kind of a proof of concept video. This is a, uh, a massive array of Pez dispensers, more than you could ever need, I would think. But I uh, just wanted to kind of see how it could be done. Uh, we have four stacks of, uh, I think, 12? Yeah, there's 12 each in each stack. Uh, I'll show you how to load them. Get the right stack, stack in there. Don't switch it. There we go. All right. So to load them, uh, we're going to just checking the daytime there. Uh, we're gonna place them next to this cart here. They'll travel down and get another additional boost because it's kind of a long way up there. They'll find the next available stack that's not full, and they'll drop down in that stack. So let's go ahead and uh, spam a bunch of in there. You can uh, place these in as fast as this uh, booster here will recycle. Or cycle. So we're getting close to the top there. Keep an eye on that one torch just to the left there. It'll go off as soon as that cart falls in. So that indicates that that stack is full, and now the next cards will go to the next available stack, which is the last one in line, actually. And that one is now full. The alarm is going off, saying that don't put any more cards in. If you uh, let's see if I can get in this one here. There we go. Uh, if you do uh, put an additional card in, it will send it up here, bypassing all these and falling into a cactus, destroying the drop, and uh, just ignore this, this is, not, this is not supposed to be here anymore, because I changed the way I did it. So if uh, you put any more carts on, if you keep adding carts, they'll just end up getting destroyed and you'll be wasting carts. So here's the mechanism that just detects when it's full. Uh, that causes that annoying alarm to go off. It's the same mechanism I had before. Um, all these cards, they, they need to be in parallel. I think I might have had it differently in the last video. Let's go ahead and turn off this alarm. So I'm going to take one cart from the stack here, open the access door. Alarm goes off. Um, let's show you this alarm circle while we're down here. Um, it's very compact, 4x2x2. Two by two by two. Uh, one little trick to getting that torch on, you're going to use a half block right here to get that torch to stick. Other than that, it's a very simple circuit. When power is applied through here via a lever or a pressure plate or whatever you desire, it sets off a three clock or I don't know proper term, but anyway, three torches um, going in sequence, plus a repeater in there to adjust the uh, time, adjust the tone of the alarm to whatever suits your desires, but only when the um, last stack is completely full will this alarm go off. So, um, so we have four stacks here. Um, that's great and all. What are we going to do with them? Uh, we have a booster set up there. Um, you know, when we call a cart, let's pretend we're going to call a cart and make sure I've got the uh, carts routed properly. Yeah. So let's pretend uh, we're going to call a cart. The cart will come out of the booster. It will uh, find the nearest available stack. It will take the cart from that stack, send it off to the player. The player is currently a cactus that destroys the, the uh, cart. So you can keep doing this. Uh, different players can keep calling carts. It will keep uh, taking carts from the stack. Let's go ahead and speed things up just a hair by removing some of these carts. I left the access door open. I might have to uh, erase my inventory stand by just one second. It's got too much stuff in here. Let me uh, 
drop it down to this one here. Just so we have room for all these extra carts we're going to make. I want to leave, uh, let's leave uh, one cart in there. Close the access door. And uh, let's call booster. The booster will come and take away the remaining cart. Now that stack is empty. You'll notice that this track piece switched. So now when you call for another cart, it will move on to the next available stack. And we'll take a cart from there. I have it bypassed around here because it doesn't really work if it uh, interferes with uh, the next stack in line. So another um, feature that uh, could cause things to mess up is if you notice these carts are all stacked um, perpendicular to the track. Um, watch what happens when we add a few carts. These carts will come in here and they will land parallel to the track. And it'll open that access door. So I gotta figure out a different way to do that. Um, <laughs> I think I might be able to. Uh, either way, I'm gonna do that, it's gonna mess it up. So I'll figure a different way there. I think you just have a port or something. Just some way you can get in there to get those. So um, now it's nighttime. Um, the land parallel. But uh, when you close and, and, and restart the game, there's some quirk that when you come back in, they'll all be flipped perpendicular. And that'll cause a problem I'll explain to you in the morning. So if these carts are not parallel like this, they're harder to pick off of the stack. So you need to have the, the pickup cart, the one that's coming around here, you need to have it impact the stack at uh, some sort of angle like this. It can't be coming along uh, straight and impact the cart because it'll bounce off these from time to time. You either need to come straight in like this, which picks it off very slightly, but this seems to work very well. Come in one block ahead of the stack at, an, at a corner, it'll pick off the cart cleanly. So uh, other than that, there's not too many other tricks. Um, just make sure you keep those carts and the detecting units parallel, and they'll work a lot better. Um, but other than that, this seems to uh, the setup seems to work fine. Uh, obviously, it's it's overly large for anything that you would want to do. But the point of this demonstration is to uh, oops, is to uh, so that it is feasible to have a stacked array of PEZ dispensers for a very large uh, server station. So this will hold uh, 48 carts, I think, if I can do the math properly. And uh, God knows why you need anything more than that. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I doubt you'll be building one of these your own, but uh, uh, maybe you can use a smaller version uh, for your servers and uh, it uh, shows it is possible. Thanks for watching.